Hi Virgos, um, this is Jamie Zebra 23. I'm doing your um, your general tarot reading for November 2016. I've shuffled and laid out all the cards. I'm skipping out on the runes and the Dorian Virtue deck because it was getting too hard to upload the videos. They were getting too long. Also, I'm using the Rider Weight deck. I pulled 10 cards and then you got three bonus, four bonus cards that flew out. Um, so uh, I am on Facebook, Jamie Zebra 23, like me. Um, also, I advertise my reading specials on Facebook. Um, so yeah, so it'd be a good idea to be on Facebook. <laughs> All right, and then if you want a personal reading, the personal readings are $25 for 15 minutes, $50 for 30 minutes, and then $75 for 50, 50 minutes. Um, you have to contact me at jamiezebra23 at gmail.com to schedule your reading. You must prepay before I can schedule your reading. Readings are done within 24 hours. Um, usually much sooner than that, but at the at the latest within 24 hours, it's first come first serve. So whoever makes the payment first, they can get the time sh slot. So don't you know, don't contact me 15 minutes before you want you need a reading because I, I won't be able to do that. So you you know, usually an hour or two you have to make the payment before. Also, I pick up on your energy immediately once you send the email. So I like to hurry up and get it out because I'll be carrying your energy around all day and like seeing what's going on with you all day long. I can't turn it off. <laughs> Don't know how. <laughs> so that's why I like to hurry up and get the readings just out there. All right. So here's what's going on. First, you got the four of wands. Then you got the moon. Then you got the page of pentacles. And then you got the devil. So here's what this is saying. Okay. Four of wands at your house. There's something hidden at your house. There's something going on at your house that you don't know about. Either somebody's coming over that you don't know about or... Um, or there's gossip going on at your house, or there's things just going on at your house. I'm going to tell you what I think it is. You're going to be, so, somebody's going to contact you about it. This is the page of pentacles, so somebody's going to contact you about what's going on at your house. So this is either um, this is either a uh, a Capricorn, a Taurus, or a Virgo like yourself. Somebody's going to either you're going to call in and be like, "What the hell's going on at home? Like I don't I don't understand this crap. What the hell are you doing?" Because you got the devil card here, so you're going to get rumors of pe people having sex, people having um, young boys, young girls over. You're going to get some, maybe some darker information, some where the police need to be called. Yeah. Um, so please take care of your children. You know, yeah. Take care of your children, please. Um, there could be underage drinking, drugging, stuff like that. Or there just could be um, somebody... Somebody's cheating on you and they're actually bringing somebody into your house and they're doing it and uh, somebody's going to snitch and you're going to find out. Um, I don't feel like this is somebody coming clean, but this has to do with the devil. So this is a uh, drug addictions, overindulgence, people just misbehaving, nasty stuff here. Be careful with that. All right. That's, this is a general reading, so nobody freak out. I got to tell you what the cards mean, and I got to tell you what I pick out. Because I would want to know if something nasty was going on at my house. I would like for someone to give me a heads up. So that's what I'm doing for you guys. All right, Virgo. Then you got the Nine of Cups here. You got the Five of Wands. You got the set Eight of Cups. You got the Ace of Wands. You got the Seven of Swords. You got the Six of Cups. You got the Ten of Wands. You got the Wheel of Fortune. You got the Four of uh, Swords. And then you got the Seven of Swords. So what this is telling me is... With the, with the Nine of Cups here, the Nine of Cups is somebody that's kind of like holding back their emotions, somebody who's who feels emotionally controlled. Um, uh, they, they feel um, normally this person would wear their heart on their sleeve. They're not. They're just uh, they're holding back with what they want to say. It's not a negative thing. It's just that um, somebody, somebody, I feel like some of you um, Virgos are dealing with a water sign, a Cancer, Pisces, or a Scorpio. I feel like some, some of you Virgos have told this water sign, you need to control your temper. You need to control your emotions. You need to just calm the hell down. Because I feel like in the recent past, there was a lot of fighting and whatnot. So this person's taking your advice um, and not, you know, doing emotional outbursts and craziness and a lot, a lot, a lot. I feel like the person has stopped even communication with you. I feel like maybe there was a temporary breakup. It will be temporary if you are dealing with a water sign. Cancer, Pisces, or a Scorpio. It looks like they walked away from you either um, eight days ago, eight hours ago, eight weeks ago, eight months ago, or eight years ago, but they will be back. Or they will be back in eight hours, eight weeks, eight years, um, or eight months. They will be back. It has to do with eight, or it could be the month of eight, which is August. Either they broke up with you in August or they're going to return in August. This is a general reading. This is for some of you. The Ace of Wands, Fertility. When they do come back, be careful um, that you don't get them pregnant immediately. The Fertility card is here. Also, this has to do with uh, starting a new business. Some of you may be starting a new business. Some of you might be um, starting a new relationship, a new venture. Um, this is definitely going to stress you out. This is, um, this is also a card of incarceration. So if you are doing something illegal, I don't judge. I don't judge anybody. Yeah, I'm, I'm not peeking in anybody's backyard because it's none of my business. 
as long as you're not, hopefully you're not harming animals, children, or the elderly. Other than that, you do what you do. It's none of my business. So it looks like, uh, be careful here with whatever you do. If somebody tries to talk you into doing something, be careful. Because uh, you might not get away with it. I feel like you're already, the hand, the, the law is already around you. Well, the law is around you, but you don't see them. So be careful with that. Um, somebody returning from your past. Some of you are dealing with a Cancer, of Pisces, or a Scorpio. They could be coming back from the past. Um, uh, you feel like every time, I feel like this person comes in and out. It could be a karmic relationship with this water sign. Um, yeah. <laughs> I put up a basketball hoop to keep, you know, the little one occupied. And yeah, cans of like tomatoes are getting thrown and stuff. It's, yeah, it's super fun. That's just how we live. Yeah, you never know. All right, so for some of you, this water sign that keeps coming back and forth in your life, each time they come back, there's more baggage. There's more shit. So you send them away because they're too much drama, and then they come back with double the drama. So this time, who knows? They could come back with a drug addiction. This time they could come back with a, with a pregnancy, and the kid's not yours. Or this could be vice versa. Yeah, so somebody's coming back with a lot of crazy baggage, Virgo. Wheel of Fortune. The wheel is going to start spinning now. Even though they're coming back with drama, it feels like even though this water sign is a headache for you and annoying, this person you know is supposed to be in your life, and they actually make your life better even though there's so much drama. And then you got the four of uh, the four of swords here. You wish shit would just calm down. You wish this person would just pull their weight. You're, I mean... For some of you, for some of you Virgos, you are dealing with an air sign, an Aries, a Libra, or a Gemini, and you feel like this person is not pulling their weight, or they feel like you're not pulling your weight, and they're getting kind of upset about it and sick of it. So, um, if you are dealing, if this is happening, if somebody's not pulling their weight, they need to get their stuff together because there will be a breakup or a separation if they do not. Um, and during the separation, I feel like somebody will find somebody better, and there won't, there will not be a reunion. But if there is a reunion, it will be bittersweet. It'll turn into a love triangle because this new person that would come in, they're not going to let them go. So um, so a lot of you guys just straighten up. If it's not you, it's them. Somebody needs to straighten up and get their stuff together. Let me see if I can see anything else. Okay, so yeah, so the water sign coming back. Um, Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. Some of you could be dealing with a fire sign too. A Leo, an Aries, or a um, Sagittarius could be coming back into your life. Um, I hope this was helpful, Virgo. So yeah. Um, like, share, subscribe. Ta ta for now. I'm gonna hurry up and get a move on the mid monthlies tomorrow because <laughs> you won't get them till December if I don't do them tomorrow. <laughs> All right, bye guys.